hold on now. Keep doing your slow walk. This is good. No, this is good. No, did yeah. No, I'm good with this. Keep doing that. No, 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 not no, not that. That's that's bad. I can't believe I got greedy. I saw a heart and I was like, ooh, give! And then lost everything. I mean... I do feel like I have a pretty good... I do feel like I have a pretty good sense of, like, how that's supposed to go. It's just that they have decided that your margin for error in this fight is literally zero. So, like, I have a good sense of what we're supposed to do. I don't know how many times we're going to have to do it. But I understand the basic principle. It's just that now I have to execute perfectly without making any mistakes at all. I mean, I guess I can get hit by the little guys, but... Honestly, the little guys haven't been the bulk of the problem here. It is okay to laugh. I am playing a silly trolley game. It is here for your laughter. And I will feel better having received it. Well, that time it just didn't shoot the second time. And now it's fully healed. Dead. I'm glad the lives don't matter. Literally the only difference in lives is whether you have to sit through the game over cutscene. Which, like, whatever. Well, that's a decent pattern. We'll take that. I just, this game has been so trolly throughout. I feel like giving you a power up that increases your, uh, they increases your maximum hearts to 20 and then pitting you against a final boss where it literally doesn't matter. That was a decision. The lack of perma game over is the only reason I'm not save stating. Ultimately, there's a limit to how much of my life I'm going to have taken up by Star Tropics. It's already been more than I expected. But 
but it's okay. I'm doing it for the content. Also, the original plan was to finish this and then play Donkey Kong Country, because I thought I'd have time for that. Um, now that we're going on two hours into the stream, I might just finish this and be like, whew. Glad that's over with, and then enjoy the rest of my evening. Oh. Really? I- you just can't. You just can't. You just cannot. Mike, I, I'm begging you, shoot the right way, man. You could say, Vegeta fan, that I am in fact on a Switch retro breakdown. But yeah, basically. Tom and I have been doing our podcast for a while now, and... Long story short, it's just... <laughs> Canned laughter is the appropriate response, yes. Thank you. Yeah, we've been doing our, our uh, retro game podcast, and these this library has just been really useful for uh, for providing content for that. No. I've also been putting these on YouTube, which is... Which is a new experiment for me, but it's been nice. Awesome. Glad I picked up those potions. I've decided that death is food time. Which is ironic if you think about it. Could you stop? It's a little like Master Hand. That's a very Master Hand-like move. And I would like to point out that for 1990 Nintendo, honestly, the art and animation on that hand is pretty solid. It's like a drinking game, except... It's like a drinking game, except... Except eating. Yeah. If I beat the boss, I have to, uh, I have to down the whole chicken breast. I mean, not at once, obviously. I'll just, you know, I'll just actually eat.
Work with me here. Thank you. All right, let's try this. I'm just gonna grab this because I want it, even though in doing so I'm passing up a very good opportunity for damage. You're a jerk. Would you stop, please? I am trying to... <sighs> hey, no. Okay, the la the absolute last thing I want right now is to die to these? That would be highly suboptimal. Okay, it's easier to line them up here. The goal here is gonna be to go through with full life, which we now have, and four stars. Because at five we'll get another we'll get another heart. Excellent. Again, health not crazy important in this fight, given that the boss literally just kills you instantly, but... You know, he also does that, so... Awesome. Okay, that's fun. Uh-oh. I'm gonna just get off of these. Now, I do know that I have hit him many times. And I do not know how- HOLY SHIT! Alright, time to switch to guns since the... Okay, time to switch back. I don't think I like that. I, you know what I do like, actually, is the design of this boss room. I actually really like the way this is laid out. Ooh, that's good. Good damage, good damage, good damage. That is so rude. Okay. 
Sorry. I'm just noticing that this isn't this is normal boss music and not special boss music. And that makes me feel like this isn't it, this it, yeah. I am now very scared of a potential phase two. I don't even know how many times I'm supposed to hit him. I don't know how many times I did hit him. Eat more, let's go. Let's get a pair in here. Totally possible, Teacup. It's totally possible, there's an it. Totally possible there's an entire mechanic that I'm just missing. The thing is, for as frustrating as it is, I don't actually think it's a badly designed boss fight. I actually think it's quite good. It's just very tricky. And again, the, uh, the zero margin for error is a problem. Wow, okay, just infinity hands. I'm not gonna lie, 1034 is an oddly specific number. Okay. That's all right, I had a I had a quick death that I didn't eat after before anyway. Nope. Wow, really? I think that's the first time since the, like... I think that's the first time against this boss that I've actually not done damage on a cycle. I mean, I guess aside from the times that he just killed me. Could we... Okay. Whew. Hey, congrats. I don't, I didn't play enough of One Step From Eden to remember if that's even a good thing, but GG.
Like, I think I streamed it like twice and then I played it once on uh, on the extra life stream. But I wouldn't be so bold as to say that I know anything about that game. I'm pretty sure a gate kill is like a clear a cleared run though, right? Awesome. Let's just yeah, screw it. That was a good decision. So you got regular ending, not true ending. That's still good. Hands, please. One of these days I gotta, I gotta actually finish my runs in Hades. I feel so conflicted about the fact that I've been playing that game for like a year and a half and then stopped playing it the exact moment everyone else started. But you know, I hit that like 100 hour mark. Same thing with Fall Guys. I was so into that game, and I loved it so much, and I still love it, but I just can't, like, I keep booting it up and thinking that I'm going to play a bunch of it, and then I play, like, two rounds, and I'm like, okay. There's just, like, that wall around, like, 80 to 100 hours where it's like, I do not want to play this game anymore. Don't have the attention span for it. I don't know. So in the last couple of runs of this, I've noticed something very, very important. Um, when you're working on iframes, Like, this game gives you iframes? At, like, after you take damage from something? If you get hit by something, your fire rate drops by, like, half. Look at that! Mwah! You can't tell me we're not learning. We've just made it through that room with literally full health. Now granted that was because of some fortuitous item drops, but still. I 
All right. We do it again. So I stood in there and traded damage for, you know, way too long, but... It was good damage. Look at this free damage! Let's go! Yeah, keep- yeah, keep walking around! By all means! Please! I beg you! You put it! Oh god! Keep hitting him! Keep hitting him! No mercy! God, that was brutal! Holy shit! It fucking figures that... <laughs> yeah, nobody say anything. Don't, don't anybody. I'm. You have no chance to survive. You shout, I've got it. But literally, now what? Oh, we just go Super Saiyan. Dolphin, bro, and fuck this game. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Coral Cola. Congratulations. Mike, you rest your Dr. J, didn't you? That's Radicola. Are you creamed as a
This feels good! I will show you how to use a star if you never use that phrase again. It's me, Miss Crawl. You look totally cool, except I forgot we had bananas in our ears! Celebrate with some cola. You drink it and feel much... Why? Why would you bother to recover my health at this point? What is this? Mike, you've returned. You have three magic cubes. I knew you could do it. Monsters have disappeared from the islands. Our island is forever indebted to you. Beep boop, beep boop. You were only here to revive me when I die. You, I know you almost gave up your quest. How did you know? You battle like a hero. I do like this shirt. It's a good shirt. Thanks for drawing attention to it. I appreciate that. Rewind time to talk to the rest of the townspeople. Uh, I don't know if I can go back far enough. The I can. Sure, we can do that. Like, I, at this point, I don't... I don't mind. Oh, you're fantastic. Cool. Mike, want to go fishing? Have you mastered the ABCs of fishing? No, but someone gave me a worm and then I fed it to a parrot. Who are you? Stay away from here! Ah, just... Ah! Jokes! It's just a joke, bro. It's just a joke. Spacey Colt, get the fuck out. I have to hurry, I'm gonna roast a pig. Oh god, it's gone. There was a pig here before. It's gone now. Alright, I, I think that's about it, yeah? Return, three magic cubes, knew you could do it, monsters have disappeared, island is indebted, circuits indicate success, beep boop, you've done it, you almost gave up, but you did a good job. Let's join the three magic cubes together. So who's gonna, who's gonna turn into a monster when we join the three magic cubes? Cubert! I don't think I like this. Something is happening! Fucking what? What? I'm Princess Mika, daughter of the Argonian leader Hirokan. We seven boys and girls are the last beings from the- Oh. Twenty years ago when our planet was about to be destroyed, we replaced the time-frozen magic cube sent to this planet. Planet no longer exists! But that's okay, we're fine. My father told me to live in peace with the people of planet Earth. Well... Lots of racism here, so good luck with that. Hi, I'm Mike. We'll find you a home. You saved a whole race from extinction. There's only seven of them. Let's not rule out extinction just yet.
Many kids live on the islands, and I know the chief will welcome you here. Oh, seven boys and girls. We welcome all of you. It's your new home. You'll be happy living here under the Southern Cross. Tonight is the party. It'll be a great feast for all. Ayla's gonna get super drunk off a of poi. Please, you're so kind. I'm hungry. Is that a banana cream pie? Oh, you you have those on Argonia. Anyone want to go fishing? Are we just having two different conversations here? Are we not talking to each other? Okay, damn, that's a hell of a zoom. I get it. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I get it. Our existences are tiny and infinitesimal. I get it. We don't matter in the grand scheme of things. Thanks. Appreciate that. I don't think I recognize, like, when you go back and play a lot of old, uh, thanks to Don James and Howard Phillips, I'm gonna assume they probably localized. You go back and you play, like, old Nintendo games, a lot of times there's, like, a name that's, like, really notable now, and it's like, oh, they were, like, assistant character designer. But holy shit! That's rad! That's a penis. With an eyeball. Those are some dolphins. I still am not sure that I trust that. I'm still not sure I trust it. Oh yeah, I do remember this one. I'm sorry, what? Oh, is this the is this the Argonians being put into Islander clothing and being like, what the hell is this? Yeah, no, this actually does this actually looks great. This is Why did why did Mike look like such a Chad there? Oh yeah, I remember not doing that. Oh shit, I forgot about that! I forgot that was even a thing and it only happened like four days ago. Remember that time we sank a British ship off the coast of the island while America played? Remember that time a Moai statue spit stone snakes at me? And we just kind of... <laughs> the art's not bad, I just... I, you know... What do you do with that? Yeah, explosions! I feel like this might have hit... I feel like this might have hit differently if they'd used some of this art during the game instead of just...
Star Tropics.